brothers Selen and Lambert and sister Maristella live at Varvaham in Jaffna, together with 25 other girls and boys from the former conflict areas of the north. In his home away from home, Selen still remembers the day his life was drastically changed. <laughs> It was an unexploded mine that the children had been playing with in the backyard of their home. We are two years old. We are not even a year 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 old. In the flash of a moment, all three children suffered serious physical injuries. Seelan partially lost his sight. Lambert the use of his right arm and Maristella is blind. With limited resources available to them, their parents had little choice but to bring them here, one of the few places that can provide the care and assistance the children now require. Their story is not an isolated one. Children are especially at risk when there are mines and unexploded ordinances in their surroundings. Their small size, together with their natural curiosity, increases their vulnerability. That is why mine risk education programs directly focus on the children of the north and the east. At Navatkuli, where the community has returned to a former battlefield, parents and elders learn about how they can make sure their children are safe. Children, too, learn about how they can protect themselves. It is important that they know what to look out for, as children often help out with chores like collecting firewood in potentially dangerous areas. <laughs> The Mine Risk Education Program also reaches out to school children everywhere in the north and the east, using various approaches to get their message across. Seven years ago, when she was just seven years of age, Neruja lost her leg in a landmine explosion as she ran to look for her brothers who were outside. Anna Gal Viladitang, Vilada Poetina, Abam Irinditan, Kutira Poekla, Vaikaleko Pakatale and then Beditella. Today, an artificial limb has made it possible for her to resume her life. She has many dreams for her future and knows about the importance of watching out for signs of mines and unexploded ordinances. Nanambala Mala Hadikran. Children who survive landmine accidents have to deal with many hardships on the road to recovery and rehabilitation. Socially, they must be accepted by the community. Other children must give them support and help them to integrate. Those who are fitted with artificial limbs must go through the painful ordeal of having them change as they grow older and bigger. They also require regular medical checks and physiotherapy, often not adequately available in the north and the east. <laughs> The care they need is long-term, as they grow into adulthood and take on the responsibilities that come with it. Many families are not able to provide for these special needs, a gap which is addressed by just a few privately run homes like this one. And that is why mine awareness education for children is essential for keeping them safe.